All right, everybody, here are some investing mistakes that you don't want to make, although you probably have. Don't worry, though, because you follow me, and so you know I'm going to tell you what to do instead. The first one is pretty obvious. Don't try timing the markets. It doesn't really work, and if you say, it did for me, well, you probably just got lucky. Instead, consider averaging into your positions, or lump sum investing if you've got the cash to do so. Number two is day trading. Whoa, 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 aren't you a day trader? Yeah, I am. But most people shouldn't day trade, and most people don't have the time to do it. They also don't have the experience, and they tend to take risks that they shouldn't be taking. Instead of day trading, maybe you try swing trading, but really, for the majority of most people, buy and hold long-term investing is the way to go. Next up is investing in penny stocks. People look at penny stocks and they go, oh my god, this thing is five cents per share. I could buy a million shares. And if it skyrockets, I'll be a millionaire. That almost never happens. And so you throw more money into penny stocks and more money into different penny stocks and more money into different penny stocks. And before you know it, you're down 90% on almost all of your investments. What you should do instead is focus on reliable, proven companies. And if you want some risk in your portfolio, dedicate a very small amount to speculative investing. Last up is chasing trends. Trends can reverse like that. But here's what ends up happening with trendy stocks. You see that something is up 40% in one day, and you go, oh my god, I, I, I can't believe I missed that rally. I'm going to buy it now so I catch the next 40% rally. Huh? But what ends up happening is that people who are up 40% in a day take profits. And the following day, that stock drops 20%, and you're left with an immediate massive loss. Instead of chasing trends, focus on building a diverse portfolio. And chasing trends, by the way, isn't the same as investing in growth stocks that you think have long-term potential. Investing in growth stocks should be a small part of your portfolio. If you've made it through these entire two minutes and you thought this video was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you smashed that follow.